वेलकम वी विल स्टार्ट विथ वेरी बेसिक एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ क्वालिटी कंट्रोल और क्यूसी इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री द फंडामेंटल रोल ऑफ क्वालिटी कंट्रोल और क्यूसी इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री इज टू एंश्योर दैट फार्मास्यूटिकल प्रोडक्ट्स कंसिस्टेंटली मीट प्री डिटर्माइंड क्वालिटी स्टैंडर्ड्स एंड रेगुलेटरी रिक्वायरमेंट्स क्यू सी इन्वॉल्व ए सिस्टमेटिक प्रोसेस ऑफ टेस्टिंग एंड इंस्पेक्टिंग रॉ मटेरियल्स इंटरमीडिएट प्रोडक्ट्स एंड फिनिश्ड गुड्स टू वेरीफाई देयर आइडेंटिटी प्यूरिटी पोटेंसी एंड ओवरऑल क्वालिटी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ डज हाई परफॉर्मेंस लिक्विड क्रोमेटोग्राफी दैट इज एच पी एल सी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू क्यू सी टेस्टिंग आंसर इज एच पी एल सी इज ए पावरफुल टेक्निक फॉर सेपरेटिंग आइडेंटिफाइंग एंड क्वान्टिफाइंग कंपोनेंट्स इन फार्मास्यूटिकल सैम्पल्स एच पी एल सी प्रिंसिपल इन्वॉल्व सेपरेटिंग कंपोनेंट्स बेस्ड ऑन देयर डिफरेंशियल इंट्रैक्शंस विथ ए सेकेंडरी फेज एंड ए मोबाइल फेज ए सैम्पल इज इंजेक्टेड इन टू ए कॉलम वेयर इंट्रैक्शन कॉज सेपरेशन विथ कंपोनेंट्स इल्यूटिंग एट डिफरेंट टाइम्स डिटेक्शन क्वान्टिफाइज सेपरेटेड कंपोनेंट्स वॉट इज ए कॉलम इन कॉमेटोग्राफी ए कॉलम इज ए सिलेंड्रिकल ट्यूब filled with stationary phase used to separate and analyze components in a sample as a sample travels through the column different components interact with stationary phase at varying rates leading to their separation based on the properties like size charge and affinity what is a column in chromatography a column is a cylindrical tube filled with stationary phase used to separate and analyze components in a sample as a sample travels through the column different components interact with stationary phase at varying rates leading to their separation based on the properties like size charge and affinity what is the purpose of stability testing in pharmaceutical qc the purpose of stability testing in pharmaceutical quality control or qc is to evaluate how the quality of a pharmaceutical product changes over time under various environmental conditions including temperature humidity light and more stability testing helps to determine the product's shelf life recommended storage conditions and potential degradation pathways what information does certificate of analysis that is coa provide in qc the coa contains test results specifications and quality attributes of a batch confirming its compliance with standards what is specification in qc in the pharmaceutical industry a specification in quality control refers to a detailed set of requirements and standards that a product must meet to ensure its safety efficacy and quality these specifications are established for raw materials intermediate products and finished pharmaceutical products why is microbial testing is crucial or important in pharmaceutical qc microbial testing is crucial or important in pharmaceutical quality control that is qc to ensure that pharmaceutical products are free from harmful microorganisms that could pose health risk to patients microbial testing verifies that the absence of pathogens endotoxins and other microorganisms thus ensuring safety and efficacy of pharmaceutical products and maintaining patient well being next question how do you handle out of specifications that is os or out of trend that is ot results in qc for os the investigation seeks to determine the root cause including equipment malfunctions human errors or procedural issues if the os result is confirmed it might trigger rejection of the batch for ot a trending analysis identifies shifts in a data over time if ot is confirmed corrective actions may include process adjustments or further investigations these measures ensure product quality and compliance while preventing recurrence what is the significance of analytical method validation that is mv in qc mv demonstrates that analytical methods used in qc are accurate reliable and suitable for their intended purpose what are the five major sections in quality control department in pharmaceutical industry five major sections in quality control department of pharmaceutical industry are chemical analysis and instrumentation microbiological testing stability testing and validation fourth 
documentation and data integrity and fifth is compliance and audit preparation what are the five major reasons for analytical error in quality control section first is calibration and instrumentation issues inaccurate or improperly calibrated instruments can lead to erroneous results second is human error mistakes during sample preparation data entry calculations or procedure execution can result in inaccurate test outcomes third is contamination fourth methodological issues and fifth is environmental factors fluctuations in temperature humidity light exposure and other environmental conditions can impact sample stability and integrity what are the five ways to avoid data integrity violations in quality control section in pharmaceutical industry the five ways are as follows first robust documentation practices second strict user access controls third thorough training and awareness fourth regular audits and self assessments and fifth transparent change control procedures this one is very frequently asked question what is difference between incident and deviation in quality control department of pharmaceutical industry first we will see about the incident an incident refers to an unexpected event or occurrence that might not necessarily lead to a significant impact on product quality safety or regulatory compliance incidents are usually less severe and may not require extensive investigation or immediate corrective action example of incident is spillage of a non hazardous reagent in the laboratory that is quickly cleaned up without any contamination to other materials now we will see about the deviation a deviation on the other hand indicates a departure from established procedures specifications or expected outcomes deviations are more serious and need thorough investigation to identify root causes corrective and preventive actions are implemented to prevent recurrence or repeat occurrence example of deviation is during the manufacturing process a batch of a tablet is found to be slightly out of the specified weight range due to an equipment malfunction this requires investigation and corrective actions to ensure that future batches meet the specification requirements next question what is yellow d and yellow q in quality control analysis yellow d is limit of detection yellow d is the lowest amount of analyte in a sample that can be reliably detected but not necessarily quantified with a defined level of confidence whereas yellow q is limit of quantification yellow q is the lowest amount of analyte in a sample that can be accurately measured and quantified with a specified level of precision and accuracy in simpler terms yellow d indicates the point where you can detect a substance but not necessarily measure its exact quantity whereas yellow q represents the point where you can both detect and accurately measure the substance quantity what is difference between hplc and gc HPLC operates with a liquid mobile phase making it suitable for a diverse range of compounds including large molecules on the other hand GC employs a gaseous mobile phase and is primarily used for volatile compounds HPLC can accommodate larger sample volumes while GC requires smaller quantities due to its injection port limitations GC is generally more sensitive for trace level analysis whereas HPLC is broader applicability includes complex mixtures and biomolecules how do you ensure accuracy and precision in analytical results following are the few ways or methods by which you can ensure accuracy and precision in analytical results first regular calibration and standardization of instruments using reference standards second conducting replicate analysis to assess precision and consistency third incorporating quality control samples with known concentrations in analytical batches explain the difference between primary secondary and tertiary standards in analytical chemistry we will see each one by one first we will see primary standards these are highly pure compounds with known concentrations used directly for instrument calibration and establish accuracy and traceability secondary standards are prepared from primary standards via dilution employed for routine instrument calibration and maintain accuracy over time whereas tertiary standards are derived from 
secondary standards for daily use utilized in routine analysis and quality control and ensures consistent measurements in practical work. What is LIMS in Quality Control Department? LIMS is Laboratory Information Management System in the Quality Control Department is a software based system that streamlines and centralizes the management of laboratory data and operations. It assists in sample tracking, data entry, instrument integration, result analysis and reporting. What is molality, molarity and normality? Molality It's the concentration of solute in a solution given in moles per kilogram of solvent. It doesn't change with temperature. Second is molarity. It's the concentration of solute in a solution given in moles per liter of solution. It can change with temperature. And third is normality. It's concentration measures that accounts for the reactivity of solute in a chemical reaction measured in equivalents per liter of solution used in specific types of reactions. Which are the commonly used instruments or equipments in quality control lab? You can refer below table for commonly used instruments or equipments in quality control lab. Last and very important question mentioned 5 commonly referred guidelines for quality control department. Here 5 commonly referred guidelines for quality control department are mentioned first ICH Q2 R1 second USP General Chapter Number 1 to 2 5, third ICH Q7, fourth ICH Q1 AR2 and fifth FDS 21 CFR Part 211. Keep watching Farm Grow. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.